Now, let's describe projectile motion. And we have been describing it, but now let's look at sort of the standard projectile motion problem, and that is an object with a given speed v naught and direction theta naught moves under the influence gravity of gravity. So I can show you what that looks like. I've done it a few times here. Is we can just take our piece of chalk and give it an initial speed v naught and theta naught and watch what it does. It kind of goes in a parabola. And one interesting thing about teaching is you find out that people can't let go of chalk. No matter how small the chalk gets, they just can't throw it away. Right? What am I supposed to do with that? Right? So I think I'm going to use all this extra chalk to show you a bunch of parabolas. Let's see what happens if we turn out the lights. All right, let's see what this looks like. Well, that was fun. So now, to describe this mathematically, we need to first draw it, right? So here we have the ground, and we have an object that we gave an initial speed, v naught, and an angle. And you know what that means, that it is a vector. We have specified both the size, usually the magnitude or the amount of velocity is called the speed, and the angle, of course, is theta. So it started out at v naught at some angle theta naught, and let's go ahead and use some axes. We'll have the object pretty much at the origin here. So there is y, and we'll make the ground x. And as I just showed you, this thing will go and make a parabola. So now we want to describe that parabola. So we're going to answer three questions. First question is, how long is it in the air? How long is it in the air? Well, the first thing to remember is that only depends on one of the two directions. Right? So the two directions have independent kinematics. And how long it's in the air depends on the y. Right? So only depends on y motion. All right. So let's see. How are we going to figure it out? We just have to think about the trajectory. It's going to start at the origin, and it's going to go up to the top, which we can call the apex. All right. So let's think about the kinematics to go from the origin to the apex. And one thing to keep in mind is you don't always go to the position. You might think I could figure this out by tracking the position, but in this case, it's actually easier to track the velocity. And because we know we have a constant acceleration down in the y direction, we know that it's always falling at g in the y direction. So really, all we care about is getting the y velocity from uh, its initial value, v y naught, to 0. Because the apex is where it goes up, and it stops, and it comes back down. Right? So really, we just need to go to the fact that the acceleration of the y is equal to delta v in the y over delta t. Okay? And if we plug in for what all those things are, we know that acceleration of the y is minus g. Okay? And to get to the top, that's when you go from the initial v y naught to 0. Right? So the difference is 0 minus v y naught, like that. And then on the bottom would be delta t. Well, delta t is the time at the apex. t apex is kind of what we're looking for minus t naught. Remember I told you t naught is always 0. You almost always start at 0. Right, so that's minus 0. All right. So when you turn that around and solve it for uh, time to get to the apex, t apex, well, those zeros just go away. And you bring this over there and that over there. And you see it's just v y naught over g. So that's a very complicated way to explain. Simply, it has some velocity. It's decelerating at some acceleration. So how long does it take? Well, just the velocity divided by the acceleration. I just was going through it a little more detail than I need to. And if we really want to give it in terms of the properties that were given, we weren't given v y naught. We were given v naught and theta naught. 
So we know from trig that this is equal to V naught sine theta over G. Right. So that is the time to get to the top. But we asked how long is it in the air, right? So the entire trip is up and down. So the entire trip is really two times this trip. Since this is a symmetric path, since we started and ended at the same height, then this is only halfway. So the total time is 2 times t apex. So we could just say 2 times v naught sine theta over g. So that's the first thing we've learned, is how long it's in the air. Now we're going to answer two more questions. 